we're here people what is happening it's a bit, bit of a blow there actually um today we're out with uh with steve harris on dentex free who runs out of queen bra um there's a few there's a few charter boats on the medway run well they run out of the medway as well um steve is the best and that is that the other charter boats know what they're talking about obviously but um steve is the best and everybody knows it um we're quite lucky to get a trip actually. I think this was a cancellation. Kieran heard about it and jumped on it and booked it for us also. Um, I think the target today is only dabs because there's really not a lot else out there. Um, but when it comes to dab fishing, Steve knows Steve knows the grounds and he knows what he's talking about. Um, Steve's boats are, I think it's 30 foot, it's a 30 foot evolution. It cruises around 18 knots, but I think it does about 25, 26. Um, so it's a fast boat. It fishes. I think, it's, I think it's probably licensed to 10, but this is six comfortably, which there's five of us a day, so it should be lovely. Um, in the summer months, late spring, early summer, will probably be the best time to be going out with Steve, if you can get space, um, because the fallback ray fishing, smooth out fishing and bass fishing we get in the Thames history for the last couple of years it's probably been the best in the country I would have thought just we get smooth hands to 20 pounds or smooth hands to over 20 pounds I think Steve had last year form back rays like they're, they're bringing 50 aboard a boat a day um, bass double figure but bass up to double figures and quite a few in a day um, so yeah they're all there and Steve's just a generally nice bloke um, his boat's always nice and clean he does a decent sausage sandwich, tea all day, what more can you want? Um, his boat's over there. Um, well, that, that's, that's a bit of an intro into Steve's boat. Are you, I've been on it before, um, but it was a while ago. It was this time last year, actually. Me, Nathan, my brother, but me and Nathan, both my brothers went out for, just for a few hours one evening. He took us out, went and caught a few flatties. Um, yeah, what, right, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. I'll just, Steve's boat's over there, I'll show you a bit, but uh, I can't because I've got my hands full. So I will see you when we're out there, in a bit. Just a quick bit of us flying along, just to, just to show you the sort of speed you go up to. We are absolutely ribbing. There ain't many charter boats that go this fast. Not, not where we are anyway. Don't get me wrong, they'll get a lick on, but Steve really does get a lick on. Um, just the Isle of Crane there, Martello Tower. Pretty certain that's called number one the Thames. It's for sale, I think. We'll just stick you out in the wind, hold on. Right, in a bit. Right, we're off to the second spot now. The first spot wasn't very productive. Um, just wine and dogfish, which is not what we want. Cool. Steve's having it now. Um, Damien just had a little dab, but it was only one, and we want we want more. I'll just show you my rig. Just a simple, normal six ounce lead on the bottom, because that's all we need. And then I've got a, a boom rig, basically. So the boom stick off, just like a pattern of stuff, with a little bit of line for a snood, and then some small hooks. I think the size twos I've got on there, and then some manky black lug that I've had for about three weeks. It's still fresh, it ain't been frozen, but there's nothing fresh about it anymore. And then I've also got a little ball lead at the top of the rig. That keeps it all pinned down to the bottom. Well, what, I'm hoping it's pinned down to the bottom. And then I've got a sliding boom there, that can go up and down the line. And that's in case I want to change the rig and have a flowing trace like a boat rig. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll see a few dabs. That, oh, that is the plan. But at the minute, we ain't seen them. Sorry if you copied any wind. Right, in a bit. On the score sheet. On the score sheet. Lovely little dab. Only caught one though. And Damien. Damien's got two. Let's see him go back. So the target, Steve, is a 30 plus, is it? Yeah, 32. A, a 32 is a big dab. Yeah, nice. 
Right, in a bit. That's good now, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Well, all of us. Oh. Eight. Eight all together so far. Seven. Sell seven. Seven so far. Steve's rod's bouncing away. Could be another one, but it's probably a white. Look at that. It's all good fun on these light rods. Daylight. You can almost see Shane through it. Almost. <laughs> Wicked. And then he gets munched by a seal. In a bit. Friend, he's a proper, proper dad. That is a, that is a nice fish to be fair. Is it still? It's even got her in spots. It's not a place, but it's still see-through. Yeah, yeah. That's got some girth on it, isn't it? Hey, Kieran. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Crack art, yeah, mate. Well done. You can get that pay rise there. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the proper one. Unless it takes the what? The tip. What's the tip? Hold on. I've got to be quick because of the wind. But look at that for a white. Size of it. We'll get it unhooked and we'll measure it up. I'll let you know in a bit. So that white was 40 centimetres, so I couldn't talk long because it's got quite rough out here now. We're going to move back up to where we were earlier. Um, Steve's just pulling in the anchor, that's what the noise is. Because uh, we're just a bit further down and the weather's just catching us. Um, I've changed over my rig now, so I'm using like more of a flowing trace. It's a bit blingy. Two hooks. There's one. Just tied off a loop on one piece of line. See it there? The bit of green tubing is just to, just to try and keep it away from each other. And then the bottom hook. Again, a bit more bling. This is like a little spoon thing that I found in my box. A bit more line, a few more uh, play speeds. And then a little one ounce ball. So that little ball should keep it pinned to the bottom, the rig pinned to the bottom. And then the lead clips on this red clip. And that slides up and down the line. So that's why we call it a flying trace. Um, you've probably seen him in other videos I've done before, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, go through it. Right, I'm, uh, well, we're obviously moving again. The wind is gonna, wind is copping us a bit, so we're gonna move up out of the way. The Steve's opening up now. Flying along, right. Oh, let's go to the back of the boat and have a look. I'm gonna get wet here, but I'm gonna go to the back of the boat and have a look for you. Lovely boat. In, uh, reeling the monster. Let's get just in front of Steve just to shield him. Oh look, it's uh, two white in. That day's going. It's windy, raining. But there's also a lot of white in. There goes one look, and he swam away. The seagulls didn't get that one. that one conservationist conservationist steve knows how to put a white back without killing it without it just just rolling on its back and letting the white take it 300 white <laughs> in an hour damien what you got there don't be don't be all snarly russian no damien hasn't got anything well we'll bring you back when there's some real fish it'll be very quick damo give us a smile what you got, mate? Another one. Has yeah. it had both hooks? <laughs> Greedy little shit. We can all see that, just about. Oh, I've just lost a massive, massive, massive dab. Like, it's like a three meter flay. Um, just, just while I got it, I got it to the surface. Everybody saw it. We decided it was gonna count as the biggest fish of the day. Didn't we all? And uh, yeah, I've won, really. Even though Damien's now had, what's that, it's number six? 
Yeah, Damien's had six, I'm still on two. Well, two and a half, because that one counted as half. Steve, how many you had? 13. <laughs> Steve's cheating, obviously. One, one yeah, uh, uh, Kieran, Kieran's lost a bit of gear today. Lost, yeah. lost a whole set up earlier, and uh, <laughs> now he's, now he's just lost an hook. But bless him, he is using two. He is using, yeah, no, it wasn't his knot to be fair. Um, he had something on, absolutely humongous. None of us know what it was, but um, I'm, I'm sure we'll never know in a bit. Well, the wind is savage, we're rocking all over the gap. Whee! So, the wind, Damien's got one, nice one, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, nearly went. It is, uh, it's a rough old day now. All right, let's chuck that one back, Damien. Damien's just gone back. Nice one. Um, still, the one I lost is still the biggest of the day, 28, 28 pound. Um, Steve the skipper saw it, so he's vouched for me. Oh, he's reeling in, look. This is a live reeling. We might as well stick around for this. The, uh, sorry about the wind. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's no wind anymore. Steve's taking it slow. You don't want to end up like me, losing them. You want to make him a loser? <laughs> Is that a treble shot? No. Oh, really? That's a treble shot, Steve, isn't it? Hold up, let's have a look. Yeah, treble shot for watching. <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're bringing it back in a bit. Yes. Finally, dab number three. And white in number 865. In, oh, in a bit. And that is that folks, it's not been the most productive trip, alright, but there's been hundreds and hundreds, literally hundreds of fish on the boat, mainly white and dogfish, um, we had I think 20, 25, 30 dabs between us all, Damien one, um, he's one of the fivers, uh, but yeah, like I say, it's not really, uh, you know what mate, it's not really um, true performance of Steve's boat really, or Steve as a thing, I mean we've moved probably four or five times, but we've had to keep moving away from the weather, it's been chasing us back in basically, um, that's a bit further south, you go a bit further around, it's a bit of, it, it was awful, the weather was awful, it's been thrown all over the gas. Up here look, just back inside the river now, it's uh, it's nice and flat calm, but there's no fish here. Um, you know, look, this is Garrison Point, this is the big oil rig, it's so like, I think Steve said it was 123 million pounds. Um, and it's man, there's people on it, still on it, they're, they're just parked there, just to, um, just to store it basically, because it's got no work. Um, I suppose because of Covid um, um, and yeah it's just sitting there oh, and I think he said it goes it, they can drill down 35,000 feet yeah crazy absolutely crazy yeah we're just heading back in the river now where it's going to get probably a bit more moody because we're back in the wind again That's XL that is uh, behind us over there. He went out this morning the same sort of time as us. Uh, I think they've done pretty much the same. Bit pants. But listen, it was um it was a day out. It was a day out and it's better than sitting indoors. So uh, I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks all for watching. Um I don't know what the next one's gonna be, because uh, Christmas is like in a few well, a couple of a week and a half now, I think, weekish. Um Really, that, what I've been looking at, the, the reports from all over the country really, it's been pretty dead. Bristol Channel sort of died of death, there's not many cod being caught there, they're waiting for them to start again. Um, up at Grimsby there's been a couple again, but I'm not travelling up there again, I really can't be bothered with that drive. Um, I don't know, I'll see what happens. I might even just go down Chisel and just sit on the beach and just stick a rod out and see what happens. Just see, the Chisel's running in places in it where anything can happen. I do want to get out of my little boat properly. But um, I've got to sort my engine out and uh, see what else is happening. Oh, 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 that was this. It's a proper fish. <laughs> right, in a bit.